again, yes. ladies, gentlemen. Hi, my name is Timo Hamper. I'm with the Curious AI company. I'm here to tell you AI is here. You can order it now. Perhaps not from us yet, but from quite a number of companies. This is, we believe, as AI researchers, the year when AI will be shipping. Though it won't take the center stage. I believe you'll find it under many a bonnet. AI or perhaps more accurately machine learning today is modern. Quite a few people have an idea what AI is and uh, it's the classical AI you typically have in your mind. Classical AI may be described as rule-based, it's programmed. Actually quite a few people think classical AI is these days, it's just plain old programming. It's also reductionistic, like robot like clumsy. A, a good example is a local library query. You perhaps have had the pleasure of doing Boolean queries in the 80s in your local libraries. And uh, the way that is done these days is you can use your mobile phone to make a natural language query. And it's not actually called AI anymore. It's just plain search engine. This is, uh, I believe, the gist of AI. If something is doable, then it enters mainstream and it ceases being AI. Now, modern AI, machine learning, or even deep learning powered, it learns from examples, it's fuzzy, it's probabilistic, it's holistic, it's animal-like, if you, if you like to imagine what this modern AI is. Like I said, Natural Language Search is a, is a good, good example, and Her, the movie, if some of you have seen it, is also a good example of what modern AI looks like, feels like, hopefully not tastes like. Now, as Sami showed, AI is all the rage, and the reason why I'm here today talking to you about it, it's the same reason. It's available, it's shipping, it's here. Uh, basically from 2015 onwards we've had deep learning based systems that are in use and they are increasingly in your pocket. Quite a few of the mobile applications you use under the bonnet in the back end there's some AI or if you prefer deep learning functionality inside. So in, in layman's terms AI is actually machine learning and if you'd like to be more specific it's Classic AI plus machine learning plus some deep learning on top. Perhaps some have seen this slide previously. I like to show this. This is an adaptation of DARPA's three wave model for how AI has come to being what it is now. Obviously, it's since it's Curious AI presenting it, it's slightly skewed towards what we do, but I believe the gist still holds. So the initial wave of, of AI, it was basically handcrafted rule-based systems, which were pretty good at reasoning. What they lacked was any kind of perception skills, learning skills, or autonomy. What was introduced in 2012 onwards, roughly, was machine learning techniques using deep learning, meaning deep, deep neural networks, and with those technologies, you can do perception and you can do l learning from data. What you, what you lose is reasoning. But basically, the whole current AI boom, any AI system you're using these days, is based on this level of technology. Now, the advanced AI, the future AI people are building, including Curious AI, we try to put back the reasoning, the existing systems, and we try to add autonomy in there. So, if we can deliver a system that learns autonomously and is capable of symbolic reasoning, I have a slide on that later, then we have achieved something that approaches artificial general intelligence, well, for all intents and purposes, at least for humans. If it's multi-purpose, good for many uses, it's AGI.
No AI. It's backwards. IA. Anybody here heard about IA lately? Let's see. Three hands. My guess is, and that's why I'm saying shipping 2018, intelligent automation is going to be the thing this year. It's actually very close to AI or any other fancy name. You'd go RPA, RDA, IPA, IA. That's all AI. Again, in the sense of some machine learning under the bonnet. All of these fancy new terms you'll definitely hear about this year more, they basically describe systems where there's machine learning components beneath an existing IT system and that existing IT system is fairly traditional. Now as a, as a company, Curious AI, we would be in the business of making those systems increasingly autonomous, increasingly capable of learning by themselves from the data. The AI systems you see these days and probably the ones that you are buying if you buy AI this year, they are still like any old software from the user's perspective. The user is the one who's giving the commands, the user is the one who decides. The Wave 3 I mentioned, they are hopefully slightly different. They are capable of being truly automated and probably the first steps to a true automation are dialogue AI systems, the kind of systems which, in a sense, know what they don't know. They can ask for further information. And uh, this will be the mechanic we see in which, I believe, this year, larger corporations and then SMBs following them will take up AI. Typically, research commercializes in roughly five years, and considering we started running from 2012, it's about the time. These are our focus areas as a company. Obviously, we try to aim for the big thing, but we try to approach it by three smaller components. We would like to deliver a system which is capable of data classification or industrial control on the other side, and perhaps a component which can be used for knowledge work. If you have problems where, for example, you'd like to classify some data, provide labeling, or you have some industrial process you'd like to control better or understand, or you have some knowledge tasks which perhaps could benefit from automation. I'm very happy to talk to you. This is something that we will be taking on this year, and this is something I believe quite a few companies are offering this year. So, in a nutshell, AI is here you don't see it. It's under the bonnet. Thank you.